The girl in front of me puts the tiny little plastic tasting spoon in her mouth, and her eyes open wide in surprise. That always happens when somebody first tastes the ice cream here. It happened to me when I was 12, and I somehow managed to convince the owner to hire me. On my first day, I watched it happen to three different tourists who stopped by. That was 10 years ago, and eyes still open in surprise, like it's the first time they have ever tasted ice cream. 10 years. I still work the same job I started in 7th grade. Everything has changed, but yet nothing has changed. In this case, it's new ownership for the ice cream shop as of last year, when Glenda bought it. She's amazing. I watched her transform from directionless like me into an outstanding businesswoman. The town is almost the same size, except for the reopening of the biggest hotel. Now, more tourists come to the little mountain town every season. I have remained unchanged since junior high school. Oh sure, I have a different body, and the sight of my ass turns heads now. That's changed. But I have not. Except for not going to classes every day, I still work at the same shop and live in the same house. I wish I could transform the way Glenda did. I want to be someone's little girl more than anything. I've had obsessions before. I've been through times when I was sure that everything about my life would change if I could get a car. I find myself flitting from one obsession to the next. Every now and then though, something takes hold and it's more than just a passing fancy. This thing about daddies and little girls is a whole lot more than a passing fancy for me. This thing about daddies and little girls consumes me in a way none of my other obsessions ever has. It was nearly 18 months ago when I first heard Glenda call her boyfriend daddy. It took me a few weeks to come up with the guts to ask her about it, and I'm still in the midst of the journey that conversation started me on. As much as I enjoy it, I feel like my life will be the same a year, maybe 10 years from now. There is an emptiness inside of me that I know comes from not being sure whether or not I will ever accomplish anything other than what I already have. Nothing. That's a pretty good way to describe my life right now. What's going on with you, Candace? Nothing. What are you going to do today? Nothing. What do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know. Where are you going? Nowhere. Where do you think you'll be in five years? I have no idea. I look around at the tubs of ice cream, with flavors ranging from rum raisin to butter pecan to pistachio, to your standard vanilla and chocolate. We even keep a small tub of green tea flavored ice cream from Mr. and Mrs. Chen. I'll be right there, I say. No, you won't, a voice says behind me. Your shift ended 15 minutes ago. I turn to see Glenda smiling at me. I return her smile and say, What can I say? I love it here so much I never want to leave. Glenda rolls her eyes and says, Sucking up to the boss, huh? You're shameless, you know. I giggle. What's wrong with that? She stares pointedly at me. Nothing, as long as you have someone to be shameless for. I bat my eyes at her. I'm shameless for you, Glenda. She rolls her eyes again and shoes me away. Off with you. If you're not going to go out and meet a nice guy and have some sort of social life, at least go home and think about how much more fun you'd have if you went out. I keep giggling as she chases me from the shop. I wave goodbye as I walk to my car, a luxurious Japanese sports sedan that my dad bought me as a going away present when he and my mom retired and moved to Florida. I drive the car to my house, which is my parents' old house. When they moved, they refinanced it in my name. It's a beautiful house, spacious and well-appointed without being too pretentious or opulent. I should be happy to live here, but it's only another reminder that I haven't done anything with my life but lived off of other people's accomplishments. I sigh and strip out of my work clothes while running the shower. The water is nice and warm when I step in. The warm water soothes my body and calms my mind. With relaxation comes the same familiar urge. I close my eyes and allow my hands to travel over my skin,